Good morning, y'all. My brain is moving ahead to Easter because y'all know Easter is early this year. And uh, there's a good chance that there's a lot of y'all out there that's going to have your children coming in to celebrate uh, the beginning of a new beginning with with your, they want to do it as a family usually. So I'm sharing with y'all, I'm so proud of my magazine. Uh, my kitchen testers there, they, they just can create some of the most wonderful recipes and they stay very close to who I am, you know, with the recipes. So over the years, my uh, praline French toast has been a huge, huge hit for years. And um, so this morning, I'm going to share with y'all, and this is from the magazine, uh, a banana, let me get the correct name, a banana pudding bread pudding for breakfast or let me tell you this it'll work for dessert too <laughs> you can have this for breakfast and then 20 minutes later you can have this for dessert <laughs> after your breakfast or brunch but anyway this is real real good so what i'm gonna do is uh we have cubed up a, a 12 ounce french loaf and I've got two large bananas, so I just sprayed my 13 by 9 by 2 pan, y'all. And I'm going to just arrange my bread as evenly as I can. So you know right off the bat, this is, that French bread is going to soak up all that goodness. Now I'm going to layer my two bananas on top. Is it two bananas or three bananas, well, Teresa? I gave you three okay. They're kind of they small, aren't yes. they? I felt like they were small. Okay. Uh, I'm going to reach in here and get me a knife. Uh, what you looking for, Lulu? So, these are kind of small bananas. And, you know, a lot of these casseroles, these breakfast casseroles, you have to um, put them in the refrigerator and let them sit overnight and then get up and put them in the oven. Uh, and that just gives it time to soak up all that wonderful custard uh, in that French bread. So. Uh, this doesn't have to sit but for an hour and a half. So that's, that's pretty good. But you can make it the night before. We're just going to layer this all over our French toast. So we've got that laid out. I've got uh, four cups of milk. No, I've got three cups of milk. A cup of sugar. A tad of salt. Some vanilla flavoring. And I'm going to use a tablespoon. Oops. And I've got six eggs. Teresa, would you melt that butter for me, please? That's all right. I want to uh, I want to scramble these up before I add them to the milk because it's just a bunch easier. All right. It's a lot easier getting those eggs beaten up by themselves. Okay. So that was, what, about a half a stick of butter mm -hmm. melted? You used your vanilla. Uh-huh, I used the vanilla. No, it was three tablespoons. Oh, okay. That's not much. Okay. So 
I'm going to just pour this evenly over our bread and bananas. Gosh, I just love these kind of meals. You know, you just you just blow your family away with these kind of recipes and it's so easy for you to to do and impress them. All right, now we're going to cover this with uh some plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator a minimum of an hour and a half. Okay, our uh, banana bread pudding. Yum. Now, I told you that you need to put the, uh, after you cover it with the custard part, you need to stick, sit it in your refrigerator for an hour and a half and give that French bread time to soak up all that juice from the custard. So I did that, and while um, while that was sitting in the refrigerator, I ran out to go to the YMCA to watch Amelia with her uh, gymnastics class. So that was fun. I got a little break, uh, but now it's time to get back to work, y'all. And you're going to want to make sure this recipe stays in your files, close to your fingertips, because... Uh, I promise you will be using this, making this more than once, y'all. It's good. So in the oven, uh, can't remember the time. 45 minutes. 45 minutes until it's light brown and crusty. And at about 40 minutes, I will sprinkle pecans all on the top. And then we're going to serve this with a warm maple syrup. I cannot hardly wait for y'all to make this. Mm-mm-mm. And I am so hungry. Look at that bread pudding, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> and this recipe had very little butter. So I'm going to kind of treat it like, a, like you would a French toast. I'm going to put a little pat of butter. And I've... I've Get up in the middle. <laughs> and I'm going to um, pour my warm maple syrup on it. And I think this recipe definitely screams for the pure maple syrup. <laughs> I got the shimmy shakes, y'all. I can't, <laughs> I'm hungry. And I can't wait to taste it. One time when I was on regular TV on that channel, they took me to the woods. I can't remember what state I was in up north. And they taught me how to, how to hang the pans and get the, the sap from the trees. Mm. I can understand why this is so expensive. I can't remember. Somebody told me how many how many gallons of sap you have to get to make one bottle of maple syrup, and it's scandalous. Mmm, y'all. Y'all excuse me while I eat. This is so good. Mm. Can I? Mm. Can I plate you two some up? Oh, you're in Lent, right? Eddie, are you in Lent? I'll get some later. Eddie will get some later. You've got to eat it while it's warm. Mm. Oh my God. That pat of butter that I put on there just takes it over the top, y'all. So if you got company coming, lay this one on them. 
The only thing is they may not leave, y'all. <laughs> and they just want to stay. So love and best dishes to all of y'all. Mm. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.